Well, August is National Kids Eat Right Month, and the Greater Akron Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics want to make it fun for the entire family. They're hosting the first annual Kids Eat Right Day, and for more on that, we're joined this morning by Karen Kowalik. She's a dietitian. Joining us this morning, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Uh, the, event we, the event we have coming up yeah. on Saturday, August 22nd, is a dietitian's health fair and uh, a kids' fitness competition. So it's a chance for parents to come and get answers answer to any questions from sure. breastfeeding, sports nutrition, healthy eating, and then your kids for $5 can compete in a fitness competition of jumping jacks, uh, jumping jacks, bicycle crunches, hula hooping. I was going to say hula We saw some of the kids doing yes. bump shots and doing the, the hula hooping. And so we're, we're incorporating activities. fitness and That's nutrition fantastic. in this event to promote because healthy eating we know is so important. Yeah. Uh, about, they go hand in hand. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Obesity rates among children have tripled over the last few years. And at this point in time, studies show our kids today will probably live two to five years less longer than their parents. That's so heartbreaking to hear that. But, and as a parent, it's so, it, it, it's not easy, especially if you've got a picky eater. You know, I know my toddler, it's like our go-to is macaroni and cheese, you know, the chicken fingers, stuff like that. It's, it's hard. So what are some of the suggestions? Well, one of the su suggestions is try to eat as much whole food as mm -hmm. possible. And I know that is not always possible because we like our convenience. Right. But I have a few tips today for parents when they're grocery shopping, a few things okay. that they should look at. Perfect. Um, and the first thing we want to talk about is sh sugar. Yeah. Uh, kids should be taking in anywhere from three to eight or nine teaspoons a day, no more than that. Okay whether they're a toddler or up to a teenage. Right now, Americans, kids are taking in anywhere from 21 to 38 teaspoons per day. Oh so gosh. one of the places where we can kind of uh, watch for that is in breakfast cereals. Some breakfast mm -hmm. cereals have as much as 50%, they're 50% sugar. Mm -hmm. But what you need to do is look at the ingredients list. And I want to point this out here. I, I found this ingredients list online. And one thing as a parent that you need to be aware of is the word sugar uh, can be broken up throughout an ingredients list. So as, oh, as you okay. can see here, um, you may think at looking at this product that um, rice is the number one ingredient, wheat is second, and sugar is third. But actually, all the highlighted words, those are other names for sugar. Sure. So sugar, yes, sugar Corn is... syrup, barley malt syrup. Right, so oh, as a parent, okay. what I would suggest is go online, Google the names of sugar when you're in the grocery store. Yeah. If you see one of those, just be aware that it is. So okay. what can you do for another choice uh, for a breakfast cereal? Yeah. Have you heard of overnight oats? I have, actually, but I've never seen how easy it is to do here. It is incredibly easy, and these are all over the Internet. Okay. Basically, it's one part oatmeal and one part any type of milk. Uh, I'm using cashew milk today, but you can okay. use almond, almond milk, milk yeah. regular milk, coconut, and milk, milk. coconut okay. milk, anything you like and then I you can put in whatever toppings you want here I've got some frozen berries okay. and then all you do is put a lid on put it in the refrigerator and you let it sit yes let it sit overnight right. and then for breakfast it is completely ready to go here's here's our finished yeah, version I can taste yes uh, that one is that one was made with milk and blueberries and strawberries and I'm gonna have you taste this one because I can show how fun okay. fun we can get Right. That has, has banana. It's got bananas, cashew milk, pumpkin spice, nutmeg, honey, and that's about it. It's, that's really good. Isn't that good? It is really good. So it's a nice, easy, quick breakfast. You can put them, you know, you it's can have your kids make them at yeah. night. They can take them out of the refrigerator in the and, morning. And, oh, oh, that's excellent. Okay, okay right. Right. so let's move on to sodium. Okay. Sodium is also, <laughs> we're taking in way too much of that. The average child and adult should take in no more than 2,300 milligrams per day, and most of Americans are in the special population category. Right. They should not be taking in more than 1,500. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. studies show that Americans are taking in about 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day, so no way over. There's so much hidden when you go out to eat, especially. Uh, Absolutely. Now, where do you think the number stuff. one place Americans are getting their sodium from? Mm. If you have to take a guess. If I had to guess, I would say potato chips. Actually, the CDC did a study, and they found that rolls... Breads, though, that's the number really? one place. Really? I would think sugar with that, but I wouldn't think sodium. Okay, that's an eye-opener. Chips right. are number Good 10 enough. on the list, believe okay. it or not. So we are getting our sodium from from sandwiches. Yeah. And lunch meat is number two, cheese is number seven. So this is like a typical sandwich somebody might have. Yeah. A slice of bread could have anywhere from 150 to 200 milligrams of sodium. You throw in a whole sandwich, it's six, 700, 1,000 milligrams. So it's not heart healthy. That's no, sure. it's not. It's convenient, but not, yeah. not heart healthy. So what 
can we do? Okay. Well, one option is to, number one, make your own spices. Really? If you are going to uh, have a meal, and you know, we have to, we have, to have some options here. Sure. Um, I made this dish. The reason you'd be making your own spices is we can substitute the bread for lettuce. Have you ever had uh, lettuce wraps? I've not. These are awesome. Um, basically, we're eliminating some calories, we're eliminating the sodium. And it's really smart when you think about it. You just right. And 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 if we use okay, I made these tacos here. Yeah. I made my own ground meat. If I use the the packet of taco, there's 430 milligrams times six in this. So. Oh my God. About um, 2,500 milligrams in one yes. packet. Do you want to make you a meal? If you make your own, you can save yourself. If you make your own, it's 191 milligrams. So um, here I just made some chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, crushed pepper, dried oregano, paprika, ground cumin, a little bit of salt. And to be honest, when I made this, it didn't yeah. even really need salt. Yeah. It tasted amazing, and I was a little worried when I made it for my family that they weren't going to like it. That maybe they, they loved it. They loved they it. it. All right, we're actually not going to be able to get okay. to the hydrogenated oil section, but that's another another red flag yes, that people absolutely. need to look out for. Again, the first annual Kids Eat Rape Day, Saturday, August 22nd, from 10 until 2, at any time, fitness in Sagamore Hills, and people will be able to get all these ideas there, I'm sure, as well. Absolutely. Along with the workout in. Okay. Yes. That's fantastic. Health and fitness in one day. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We Thank appreciate you. it. We're going to send things on over to AJ for another check on the forecast. Hey. Hi.